Hey, what's going on guys? Crypto Richie here hanging out with you today. And I'm gonna talk about a conviction coin that I have a lot of conviction in over the past couple of months. Uh, got into it a little late, but I think we are still very, very early. Uh, we're gonna talk about buying and staking a coin called Hex. All right, so if we're looking at the, uh, I'm on coingecko.com and where you can check uh, prices of coins. Uh, currently it's at point. 0.82, 0.082 cents, so about eight cents. Okay, it dropped overnight to about seven and a half. I wanted to buy, uh, but I just I missed it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and DCA into buying more. Okay, DCA means dollar cost average. So if you bought a coin, say at ten dollars, price went down, and you bought more at five dollars. Okay, your average cost. So if you put a hundred dollars in at ten, and if you put a hundred dollars in five, when it went down to five dollars, your average cost is is pretty much seven fifty, right? If I'm doing the math correctly, you're you're lowering your entry point by buying the dip. Okay, so be careful on it. You know, um, with any crypto, I would say don't play with more than you can afford to lose. But with certain projects you can't lose, especially if you're early, okay? So that's the main reason why you wanna get into to, to well-funded, well-thought-out, good tokenomics uh, projects very, very early because the, the returns are really exponential. Okay, so um, now that I have money in my MetaMask account, okay, we showed you how to put money into your MetaMask, okay? Um, if I connected, so basically, let me actually disconnect I'm gonna disconnect right now. I'm gonna disconnect. Here's how you can look at the sites that you're connected to, right? So I'm gonna disconnect from Hex. I'm actually disconnect here as well and some other things. Okay, fine, let's disconnect from Uniswap. We'll talk about that in other videos. Looks rare, we could disconnect. Okay, so if we go here, and refresh now, you're gonna see that my wallet address is no longer connected, okay? So when you get to hex.com for the first time um, after, and, and you're ready to buy, all right, you're gonna to have to click connect wallet. So I'm gonna click connect wallet, connect my MetaMask, and then you're basically gonna to have to sign, okay, by clicking this, click connect, okay? When you, as long as you're signed into your MetaMask, boom, now it's connected. It can pull all of your balances, whatever you have in your wallet, it'll pull here. So you can swap for HEX, okay? So Ethereum is a popular coin that you can use to swap uh, with other ERC-20 coins, okay? Um, also stable coins like USDT I have. USDT right here, I got $3,000 in uh, basic stable coin here so i can swap out some usdt or i can swap out some eth that i have okay and get more hex so if i'm like well i like to keep some eth in my wallet because anytime you're doing some sort of transaction they take the fees in ethereum so it's good to have you know 0.25 ethereum or 0.2 ethereum in here so you have some 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 money for a swapping and you know and, and making transactions on the blockchain here so i'm actually going to use some usdt and i'm going to swap it out for hex so let's just say i just want to swap out all my usdt right now so i just click max and now it's calculating the best price how much hex i'm going to get so pretty much basically i'm going to get 34,497 hex coin at eight cents if I complete the swap and it's going to cost me $14.11 uh, to process the transaction. Okay, so that and this money comes out of your Ethereum balance. So if I'm like, okay, I want to do it, I'm going to click swap. Okay, you're going to scroll down, confirm swap, and there's one last final signature that you have to do. Okay, right here. And it's going to say um, that the fee to process this transaction is 734. Okay, so I'm gonna click confirm. Usually, this is pretty low actually. So I've seen this as high as 50 bucks. It changes every every 10, 15 seconds. Uh, now it's 816. And this is how the, the fees, the gas fees on Ethereum go up based on the con congestion of Ethereum. Like if there's a lot of people trying to process transactions on the Ethereum network, the price is gonna go up. 
And sometimes, you know, these fees can go up into the hundreds of dollars is ridiculous is when, you know, if it doesn't make sense, then you're not going to want to do the transaction. You're going to want to wait till maybe one o'clock in the morning, a time where uh, there's not a lot of transactions going on in the network. So that's one of the downfalls of Ethereum, that it's it's pretty costly to transact on Ethereum. And that's why there are other blockchains that are kind of you know forking ethereum like copying you know coming out with a different coin to make things cheaper faster um and take the load off of ethereum and and those are the projects that i'm also interested in so and that's kind of like what hex is and that's what pulse chain does and and the whole ecosystem there so um, you can see the price is going down a little bit more so i'm going to go ahead and just process this transaction because i've been wanting to get more hex um, on this dip here so is it going to go back down to seven dollars again <clears throat> is it is it it's not showing me a price point now weird all right well 1054 whatever we'll just process the transaction so it's going okay transaction submitted it usually takes like a minute to process and you'll see my balance jump up so right now i have eight hundred and nine thousand hex um, it should jump up in a little bit. And you can also, you know, don't freak out if you don't see it right away because if you click your MetaMask here, it'll say, um, you know, process. it already went through. You can see that the account is at 846,000 hex. My goal is to get to a million hex. Um, swap exactly, okay. You can also view it on the Explorer. Okay, this is Etherscan. It tells you, you know, all the transaction history on it that you swapped this for this, you know, it, it breaks everything down for you in the blockchain, okay, which is really cool. Okay, so now it looks like I have 846,000 hex. <clears throat> I might wanna actually get some more, but that's pretty much it, okay? So basically swapping over, you know, a stable coin or any ERC20 that you have, you can see I got a, a good amount of Shiba here that I can swap for hex, but I'm not gonna do that. I like my Sheba, I'm gonna keep my Sheba. Um, this is where you can adjust your slippage limits. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, let's get out of that, okay. And um, if I wanted to also, I can, you know, I can basically say, hey, I want point, you know, point two more of, you know, Ethereum, which will give me 4,700 more hex if I wanted to do that, right? But that's it for now. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to stake Hex and talk about some of the staking strategies and ladders that uh, people do. But um, that's pretty much it for now. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's Tony Ritchie here. Tony Crypto Ritchie. I got to get used to saying the name Crypto Ritchie because usually I just say Tony Ritchie. But uh, that's pretty much it. Like the video, share, subscribe. Click the links down below uh, to get a Coinbase account, Gemini account. Um, and watch my other videos. I right, talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.